It is rare to have so many visitors. Let alone all at once at my home. You come here, survive the trial of the trek. And I assume it's because you're driven by the need for strong answers. Yes. What is it that drives you then? Come. Come, we can talk. One at a time. One at a time? Oh. That's some sleep and worship. Yeah. <sighs> Those of you who are inside the house, oh, no. as you're kind of glancing through and seeing this, the head kind of oh. darts in an unnatural speed in your direction, and the arm emerges and goes. I just grab Nut by the hand. <laughs> This is not still invisible. Yeah. Do you leave the house? Yeah, I guess so. Do I see any shit running down Knot's legs? <laughs> Does it? Invisible Just a little bit. Uh, invisible shit. <laughs> oh, I can see it. <laughs> oh, you can see invisibility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little bit, a little, little trickle. <laughs> the rest of us just see rabbit pellets appear. <laughs> um, Yasha, do you? Walk with them, because you're at the threshold. Yeah. Okay. You watch as she makes these long, lumbering strides towards the house, the arms swaying unnaturally from side to side. As she reaches the base of the rock, there's a pause, and then she skitters up the side like a spider before getting to the top. I don't like it, I don't like it. That's bad, you're bad. She steps inside the house, leaving the door open. You see her spin from the inside and kind of rest, sitting on what looks almost like on a stool, but you see her pull a large box, one of the kind of crates that was empty on the side as a chair, scoots it up and sits on the opposite side of the table and <laughs> arranges it in front of her, takes the lantern, sets it on a hook. Who wishes to talk? Well, two of you are here for a reason. I mean, all of us can get our palms red. Uh, Would you prefer someone else went first? Yes. Yes, I don't know what to expect, yes. Someone with lower stakes. <laughs> sure, I'll go. Well, I mean, if somebody has to go, <clears throat> I'll talk. So you enter the house? Mm -hmm. Okay. Speed by yourself? You step into the room, and it's tight quarters with the two of you in there. You're about five feet from her comfortably. And as you step into the chamber, the door poof, closes behind you on its own. You guys lose all sight of Ford. The chamber is just closed, and the interior light is not visible. We can't even look through the windows. There are no windows. Can you hear anything? And no door. No, there is a door. Um, <laughs> The lantern marked ahead lights the room, but the shadow still cast across the upper half of the face, and you can see the piercing and a faint glow of green eyes from underneath, kind of looking right at you. The arms themselves kind of spread out akimbo and grasping the sides of her knees <laughs> as she stares towards you. So. Oh, you're. Waiting for me to speak. I assume you came with a reason. I did. Forgive me, the words fall a bit short when you're in the room of something as revered and mysterious as yourself. We've actually done quite a bit of research. <laughs> Flattery. I like it. Happy to please. Uh, I suppose my question would start with, it seems one of our party was affected by something that you might have done with her. It is of great interest to us if we might be able to discuss a way to lift your effect. 
I take it you mean the goblin among you. There is not much that escapes your view. Well, that was quite the favor I had repaid that day. Favor? Repaid? I am a woman of my word. It takes a lot <laughs> to ask me to break of my promises. I have a reputation to maintain. You've done a beautiful job. Might I ask, you said a favor was repaid. I can't imagine someone of your Ilk is in need of services very often? Not often, no. Circumstances can sometimes be strange. I understand. We happen to be a group of individuals that often find ourselves in strange circumstances. Perhaps we could be of use to you. Make a persuasion check. Oh my gosh, yes. With disadvantage, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. That was a 22, and that's a 10. Oh, that's so good. A 10? Yeah. No favors. I thrive on my connection. One could trade, perhaps. Trade. <laughs> you seem to know all. <laughs> Is there anything that you have a particular interest in? I've seen many lifetimes, and I... You hear this heavy crack as the neck kind of snaps in an unnatural way. No. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> I enjoy being tethered to misery. It feeds me. And your friend has been a delicious drip. Hmm. I'm sure you can understand I don't want to speak for any of the other members of our group, but there may be more <clears throat> misery amongst us. Existing misery is paltry. New misery. Ah. That is lasting. I care very much for these people. If I am not one to offer you what you would seek, I'm sure there is someone in our group that may be able to satisfy, but is there anything, as you see through me, that interests you? For this transaction, perhaps not, but if you seek other enlightenment, shifting one's fortunes, a change in the Backhand of fate, if you will. I could turn that around a bit. You paint an alluring picture. But no, I thank you for your time, and I turn and I leave. The door is already open for you. Ooh, wow. <laughs> that was very good. I'm just gonna know. 
No response beyond that. I walk out. <gasps> what happened? Are you okay? I'm afraid. Oh, oh my God, God. <laughs> Fuck, the humidity change is so dramatic. Um, 